Hello everybody, what is up? It is Christian here on PlayStation Follower with a inaugural episode for our brand new series slash show, which is going to be released every Tuesday as far as I know it. It's going to be all about Destiny 2 and what to expect in the coming week. We were going to call it This Week in Destiny, but that's a bit too close to This Week at Bungie, and I didn't feel like stepping on Luke Smith's toes, so instead we're going to be calling it Eyes Up Guardians. So for this week's episode of Eyes Up Guardians, we're going to be talking all about the new resets, as we will every week with a little bit of an editorial at the end and some community comments. First up though, let's talk about the Nightfall. The Nightfall strike this week is Exodus Crash. This week we're going to be running modifiers on it, two specifically Prism and Time Warp. With Prism, we're going to be having to deal with attacks matching the focused elemental damage, getting increased damage, and all of our other damage being reduced. As far as the Time Warp modifier goes, it's going to be putting rings in large white circles throughout the mission, and if we jump through them, we get an additional 30 seconds, so you can add time onto your strike countdown. This is super helpful if you have yet to get the Rat King, so you can buff out yourself and let you have a little bit room for error as far as completing the Nightfall. I still haven't done the Nightfall on Prestige difficulty, so who knows, maybe I'll try that out this week. But speaking of Prestige, if you're watching this the day I post it, you're going to be able to experience the Leviathan Prestige Raid tomorrow, October 18th. The Prestige Raid was originally supposed to go live last week, but after Bungie found an exploit in the Leviathan Raid that caused encounters to be, quote, stripped of their intended challenge, they decided to push it back another week so they could buff it out so you can't get your loot all easy as they wanted you to not get it, if that makes sense. What I mean is they obviously want the challenge to be present because the Prestige Raid is supposed to be harder, so they fixed it. Next up is some Eververse update. I don't really mess around with Eververse that much. I really do think it's really cool to earn Bright Engrams after you level up every time after hitting the level cap, but I do understand some complaints about Eververse. I, I would rarely find myself being able to actually spend my own money. Moving on to some smaller things that got refreshed this week, we have the Meditations. If you're able to do Meditations, that means you beat the campaign, so I don't have to explain these missions to you. The Flashpoint this week is bringing us to Titans, so be sure to get your fire team ready go around do all those heroic events titan is actually probably my favorite new addition as far as environments go in destiny 2 if you put rain in any sci-fi environment you automatically get like six points for me out of ten because that's a cool aesthetic and i dig it a lot moving on to what happened this past week however is iron banner iron banner wrapped up last night got my titan helmet out of it i got my titan chest and i got my titan mark but that's it I really like the shader, I liked Iron Wolf a lot, I think that looks great with my armor set. But we have some more stuff to talk about Iron Banner when we get to community comments. Speaking of, why don't we just hop into that right now. This is going to be a shorter episode of Ice Up Guardian since this is our first attempt at it, and we only have a couple comments to go over. First up, on the topic of Iron Banner, the community seems very split and dissatisfied based on changes made from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2. I have only mostly talked to people who didn't experience Iron Banner in Destiny 1, and they had a lot of positive things to say about it. They thought it was very much more welcoming to new players. They found it way easier to get in and work with other people either on their fire team or just randoms. Some newbie Destiny players on the follower team told me that they liked be having a different way to earn exclusive gear. They said it gave them more incentive to check out the Crucible because they normally don't put that much time into it anyway. So overall, in my opinion, I think Iron Banner had a pretty decent start. I liked the armor sets and I think they have a good thing going. They just got to do some tweaks for season two when that comes out. But the overall challenge and game modes and new map for Iron Banner turned out great and I really like those a lot. So lastly, looking forward to the future weeks of Destiny 2, I want to mention something quick because I really haven't seen it. No hinting at it, no details, nothing really. Festival of the Lost. It's something I really enjoyed in Destiny 1. I thought it was cool and it carried over every year and you got to progress with the certain festival of the lost quests you got your cool pumpkin heads and your vampire stuff and the bats and all the blood i really like festival of the lost and that 
Witch Broom Sparrow was very funny. So Festival of the Lost should hopefully be returning next week because Halloween is the following weekend. So I want to know if I'm alone in loving Festival of the Lost this much. Do you guys want to see Festival of the Lost return? And in what ways would you want to see it return? So that's probably going to do it for this week's episode of Eyes Up Guardians. I really am looking forward to hearing all of your feedback on this show because I want this to be a conversation between all of us. It's something I really want to progress and do for all of you because I know how much all of our subs love Destiny. So let me know, are there certain things you want me to talk about in more detail, certain things that I didn't cover enough? Just let me know what you want to see me do in Eyes of Guardians every week, and hopefully I can make you guys happy. If you do want to have a more direct access to what I'm planning for the week for Eyes Up Guardians, as well as get your opinions and thoughts talked about on each episode, check out our Discord. It is linked down below. We have a specific channel for Destiny news and discussion for Eyes of Guardians. As always, be sure to check out our Patreon. It's listed in the description down below so we can keep on working our butts off to make e content for all of you. You feel free to join our Discord. Anyone can hop in there. With all that being said, greatness awaits, and I'll see you all in the next video, Guardians.